Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome to Tech Block Today. We're going to be doing a different video than usual. So it's kind of going to be like a vlog because I don't really have like one specific topic that I'm going to be covering in the video. It's just kind of like a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. First of all, I picked up a new microphone for YouTube and it isn't a microphone that you plug into your PC or anything. This is a microphone that you plug into your phone. Now, you, you may be wondering like, wait, what? Like, you have this awesome microphone here, and Like, why would you want to upgrade it or replace it? I'm not replacing the microphone. This is just kind of like for videos where I'm like walking around the room and I'm not just like stationary here at my desk. As this microphone right here, it does a great job for like voiceovers, but if I'm on the other side of the room, the audio levels will vary quite a lot, depending on where I am in the room, obviously. I picked up this lavalier microphone from Rode on Amazon, link in the description down below to this if you're also a YouTuber and you're looking for a lavalier microphone for your videos. I've been using this microphone for many many years now, this is what I've recorded pretty much all my videos on. And finally, we're upgrading I guess, so kind of just like switching over to a different microphone whenever I'm walking around the room and stuff. So the way I'm going to be using this microphone is I'm going to be plugging it into my phone. Now bear in mind, this microphone isn't like a lightning connector or anything. It is a 3.5mm like microphone jack that I'm using the 3.5mm to lightning dongle that comes with any iPhone to convert the connection. So I can actually use it on my phone as iPhone 10s or any of the new iPhones don't have a headphone jack. So uh, that's the way I'm going to be doing it. All you have to do is press record and the microphone is connected, I hope. Yep, yes, the microphone is connected. I'm going to wire it up and hopefully the audio level will stay the same no matter where I am in the room as the microphone will always stay in the same place, right? You know, that's the theory anyway. Hopefully it even sounds good. So uh, let's put it to the test. It's weird, isn't it? This is a weird mic. Right. Right, so I've got the mic plugged into me now. Right, so we are now using the Rode microphone rather than the Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone right here for my video. So I'm going to walk to the other side of the room right here and I want to see if like, the audio levels adjust. They probably won't as yeah, er everything seems to be okay now, but I bet the audio levels on my AT2020 are definitely dropping. And I can see that because I've got Audacity open at the moment and the audio levels have definitely dropped. So the moment I get close to the microphone, they'll start bumping back up to higher decibels, I guess. Right, so thanks to this microphone, there should no longer be any problems with audio levels. Hopefully. I hope it sounds good though. I did pay £50 for this microphone, this tiny little microphone. Uh, so hopefully it sounds good. We're recording it on like the stock iPhone voice memos app, I guess, or whatever the hell this is. So I'm just going to lock my phone and we're going to continue on with the rest of the video. So I've got some news for the bed. now. In my previous video, you watched me build the bed, set up the LED lights, it was a super cool video. And of all the videos I've posted, the bed unboxing is doing very, very well to my surprise. So uh, thanks for watching the video, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It's got like 5,000 views right now. So that's pretty crazy uh, for like an RGB bed unboxing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel, of course. We're approaching 10,000 subscribers very, very quickly. So we're gonna probably hit that milestone in the next week or so like the channel gains like 100 new subscribers every single day and i can't thank you enough for all that also i need to make sure i don't put my hands near this microphone as i don't want to like bump it so all right i'm gonna try avoid doing that but thank you so much for all the support on the channel guys as you know i read all of your comments down below in every single video i reply to all of you and hopefully i can continue doing that for many many months to come no matter how big the channel is i'm still trying to keep up with every single comment that i get on this channel so thank you very much for leaving your comments and leaving your likes. Can we try to shoot for like 250 likes on this video? I know that my videos get like a decent amount of views now, but the likes aren't really like up to par. So can we try and shoot for 250 likes on this video? That'd be pretty cool. Right, so now we have an update on my bed. So as I said in my previous video, I will be upgrading the controller to a smart Wi-Fi LED strip controller rather than your cheap infrared controller that you have right here. So this is your cheap generic infrared LED controller that comes with a little remote that you control the LED strip with via an infrared signal. Now, I know that most of you probably still have these. Please upgrade, you don't need to suffer any longer. If you have like an Android phone or, or an iOS phone or even like a PC, you can download like an Android emulator on your PC and control your LED strip through there if you want to. But if you have a phone, then that's even better because then you can download an app on your phone like Ewe Link or Magic Home or Magic Hue to control your LED strips, which is pretty cool. So around a month ago, a company called like Guaboshi or Guaiboshi or something like that, they have an EWI Link smart controller that they sent me around a month ago 
and uh, I happened to find it in my room yesterday and I set it all up with my LED strip so I've kind of got it set to the fade option. Now, in my previous video, you saw that the fade button on my infrared controller didn't work at all. The fade option on the remote doesn't work. This is what fade does. It just like strobes. Like, this is not fading. <laughs> You're meant to fade across all the colors. There's also smooth, and that, you know, that don't look smooth to me. That looks insane. It's meant to like slowly fade across all the colors like a spectrum cycle on like a Razer keyboard, but instead it would just like strobe. So that was weird, but the moment I plugged in that controller, even the infrared remote now worked correctly, which was very good. So when you pressed fade, it would actually fade through the colors as they are now. So that's all super cool. But now that this is a smart controller, not only can it like do all this stuff, but it can also work with your Amazon Echo. So I can ask Alexa right here, Alexa, turn off bed. Okay. The bed turned off, dude. Isn't that cool? Alexa, turn on bed. Okay. Woo! And the bed turns back on. How cool is that? So I've also set up like schedules and timer functions. So at 6 a.m. in the morning, the LED lights will turn off. I could also set up a function where the LED strip turns off at night, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like have the LED strip turn on automatically. And whenever I wanna turn it off, I'll just ask my Amazon Echo to turn the LED strip off whenever I'm in bed, which should make life pretty easy. So that's all set up, super cool stuff. I can now control my LED strip with my Amazon Echo using an EWI Link controller, link in the description down below. Full disclosure though, the company did send me this LED controller for free, so just so you guys know that. Uh, but yeah, super cool controller, would recommend it. I mean, it's just a smart Wi Fi controller, there are many out there that you can choose from. This is just the one I'm using for my bed, and for the other LED strips in my setup, I'm using Magic Q. I do use a lot of different apps for my smart devices around the home. So I have EWI Link for my bed, I have Magic Q for my LED strips behind my table and my subwoofer, I have smart switches for my soundbar my monitors and the lamp in the kitchen. And I also have a TP-Link light bulb in my room as well. So I have three different smart home apps that I use. However, thanks to Amazon Alexa integration, I can combine all those apps into like one group on my Amazon Echo app, which is super cool. So I can turn things on and off, adjust like the lights and stuff and the brightness all on one app, thanks to Amazon Echo. So that's all super cool. And I'm very happy that Amazon Echo works with pretty much like every smart device out there, which is super useful. As I don't actually use the apps that much, I mostly just control all of my LED strips using my Amazon Echo, as I find it's much easier to use a voice assistant to control these smart devices around your house, rather than multiple different apps on your phone that you may get confused by like which one's which and stuff. So that's only my setup with like all my devices and stuff. I've got a bunch of different apps. Before we rebuild the bed in my room, I do wanna ask all of you one question. And that is, what videos would you like to see on the channel next? Would you like a review on any specific product that I have in my setup or a product that I can buy or just anything? Would you like to see vlogs on the channel? Like some people told me to make gym videos. Some people told me to make gaming videos. Other people want like reviews on like a certain product. So let me know in the comment section down below what videos you'd like to see next. Feel free to thumbs up each other's comments and stuff. That would be very useful for me. So I know like which videos you guys would like to see next. And yeah, that would be great if I could get some feedback on the channel, that'd be super cool. So now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and rebuild my bed, as I did build it wrong. So if I show you a picture of the bed on Amazon, you'll see that I did actually build the bed wrong. So taking a look at the bed here, you can see that this whole panel here is like flush with the side panels and the front panel and stuff. It's all flush, yeah? If you look at my bed, it is far from flush. So um, you can see here that uh, I definitely messed up and I can see that now. So someone in the comment section pointed out that I built the bed wrong and turns out they're right. Uh, so this part is meant to be like flush, but this middle part of the bed is mounted the wrong way around. So you can see that this is not flush. There should not be like a space here. This should all just be like one smooth line. So I kind of messed up there, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that in today's video. Right, so here we are. I've got my little Allen key here or, or whatever this is. I'm gonna be uh, rebuilding the bed because clearly I don't know how to build a bed and uh, I've messed it up on this side. I've, I don't think I've messed up anywhere else. I'm gonna take the mattress off, disattach this part. Hopefully I, I don't have to take all the wooden parts out because that would suck a lot. But I'll just try to take this part off and then just move it like two inches forward and then we should be all good. Right, so I wanna show all of you exactly where I went wrong. So you see that L bracket right there? That's how it should look like. And that's how it looks like on this end. So it should be the other way around. And uh, as you can see, it clearly isn't. And that explains why it was so damn hard 
to put this part of the bed on uh, because I was doing it wrong. I even brought out a hammer and I started hammering away at the uh, L bracket because the screws would not align. I mean, in the end, they did align after I pretty much forced them to. But nevertheless, thank you very much to whoever commented and said that I actually built the bed wrong and they pointed out why I built the bed wrong. So thank you very much for that. I'm now rebuilding the bed and uh, fixing my horrible mistake here. <laughs> Right, so this is how it was, and this is how it should be. Let's screw it in correctly this time. And we're done. Right, so the L brackets are now correctly screwed into the bed frame, as you guys can see. And that's all done. Right, so let's pop the mattress back on the bed frame. There we go, the bed's built correctly now. Everything's good now. All that's left is to plug in the LED strip controller is the most important part of the bed, as we all know. Right, so the bed's been rebuilt. This entire piece is all flush with the rest of the frame, which is what we fixed today. Uh, the LED strip is plugged back into the bed, and I've got it set to red, as always, and my radiator is set to, like, cool white, I think, or God knows what, what color that is. But the bed's been rebuilt. That's all done. The smart controller is plugged into the bed, and I'm very happy with it. It all works with my Amazon Echo, as you guys saw earlier. Right, so that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Thank you to everyone who's watched it this far. And just so you all know, there is a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, which is going to be the biggest giveaway that we've ever done on the channel so far. So I've done quite a few giveaways already. I think the last one I did was when we hit 5,000 subscribers on the channel, which was only around like a month ago or a month and a half ago. So the channel has gained a crazy amount of subscribers in a very, very short time, which I can't thank you enough for. Once again, thank you so much for supporting the channel, guys. It means a lot to me. And there's a big giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, and that's all I wanted to say, really. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.